as spring approaching us, you can expect more construction in Greater Lafayette. News 18's Kayla Sullivan reports that after last summer's I-65 closure, drivers, the state highway department, and project managers say they're all hoping for a better year. When it comes to the upcoming construction season, Joseph Smith isn't asking for much. Anything other than what we had last year. He says between multiple local projects and the month-long I-65 shutdown, it was a traffic nightmare. It was probably the worst I've seen it in 15 years. INDOT spokesperson Debbie Calder says you can still expect nighttime lane restrictions on I-65 from south of State Road 38 to just north of State Road 25. But nothing like last summer. We, no, we sure hope not. <laughs> They'll also begin working on the eastbound bridge on Sagamore over the Wabash River. That project will start the spring. You'll see some lane restrictions where we'll be shifting traffic to one lane in each direction over the westbound bridge. Drivers can also expect the Restore Sagamore project to continue through the spring and summer. Right now, they've got this area of Union and Sagamore closed off. But drivers aren't the only ones affected by construction. Businesses are taking a hit, too. This construction's going on right at the front entrance of Hop Shawnee Tavern. Compared to where we normally do 30, we only had 10 yesterday. It's picked up a little bit more. They figured out the way around the barricades. Pitt says if it weren't for her regulars, Hops probably wouldn't last through the construction. But like many people in Lafayette, she's excited for what these projects will bring the city when they're all complete. Kayla Sullivan, News 18. And for more information about those upcoming construction projects, you can click on this story at our website, WLFI.com.